Another thing that's really common, and we work around looking at this through the lens of self-compassion rather than harshly judging ourselves, is this idea of going on the defense when we start to notice that we're feeling insecure about the relationship or worried that someone's going to leave or abandon us. So we end up blowing up the relationship, doing some type of destructive behavior, sabotaging the situation in order to protect ourselves from being the recipient or being on the end of being abandoned and rejected. And this isn't always a conscious process, but sometimes when we, we begin to look at how our relationships are breaking down, we might notice that pattern. And if we do, there are some skills that we can learn and practice together in this course that can help us to begin to mindfully approach situations when we begin to notice, starting with that thought or that fear that the relationship is ending or that things are falling apart, starting to address that again through checking the facts, talking with the other person in a healthy way and other skills that you'll learn in this course so that you can minimize these blow ups, these crises. One thing we really emphasize in this class is that our thoughts are not always facts. So just because we're thinking that someone might be leaving us or abandoning us or rejecting us doesn't necessarily mean it's happening. So we work with tapping into what's called our wise mind to help us discern and evaluate what's really happening in the situation and to address it from that perspective. Because oftentimes, at least in my own personal life, when I struggled with abandonment and rejection fears, 99% of the time, the other person I came to find out after having a conversation and checking the facts had absolutely no intention of leaving or wasn't at their breaking point or whatever I was fearing. So having that conversation and using the DBT skills in the context of this situation can really be a game changer in our relationships.